Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken Training, where we want to give you the training that you need to tackle projects like this one. Today's project is training. We're going to be training you on cycle analysis, on how to time and price your trades to get the most profit out of your trades as possible. So let's dive right into it. Okay. So hopefully you can see this chart of the uh, SPY, the S&P 500 index right here. And um, you can see that with these lines here, let me just get rid of the inspect mode for a minute. With these lines here, 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 it's marking the lows. So the lows that are marked uh, on the cycles here 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 and then this tells you the number of days that are in between each cycle so basically from cycle low to cycle low in this cycle here was 23 days cycle low to cycle low here was 21 days now here we had a cycle breakdown because we went from this low that was established here now Notice the on, on stockcharts.com, when you hit the inspect button, the cursor changes to this type of a cursor. And when you take the cursor and you put it right on the candle, and if you read the, the date on that dialog box that popped up, and you look at the one that's, um, so starting from the top down, it tells you the date of the candle which is August 19th, 2021. It tells you the opening price, the high price, and the low price. What we're interested in is the low price. The low, the low price on this candle is 434.73, so $434.73 a share. Then when we come over to this cycle low and you look at the low on that, you'll notice that it's 428 0.86 cents a share. So this is a lower low to, uh, that was established on this day compared to this day. Plus, um, you can tell by the tails. I know that it's a little hard to see because I have the um, the these blue lines here and here that are making that are kind of making the tail disappear into it. But um, so we know that we we established the low here and the low here is about this point here. Then what I did was, this was a cycle breakdown indicating that the next cycle, notice how these cycles here, they all go from lower to higher, lower to higher. So these are called higher lows, higher highs and higher lows. And the, so the probabilities is good that the next cycle will produce in this particular case, a higher high, and a higher low. Now it, it did produce the higher high, but when it came down to do the cycle low, it came down and produced a lower low, creating a cycle breakdown, indicating to you that the, the next cycle, which is this current cycle that we're on, is going to be a uh, cycle, uh, uh, it's gonna be a cycle, it's gonna be lower, lower highs and lower lows, we're going to have a, a change in trend until this trend changes and until we get a cycle that produces a lower, excuse me, a higher low and a higher high. Until we get that established again, we are either trading sideways or we're trading to the downside. And currently we're trading to the downside, clearly. And now what you're trying to do, because you had a cycle breakdown, is you're trying to figure out how you should play this next cycle. Now, what we did was we did a Fibonacci retracement from the cycles high to the cycles low to tell us where the bounce should happen. That will, that will create the sell zone. Then uh, we know that that's the sell zone and then it, we should come down. And actually, SPY could not have played this any more perfectly than it actually than, than than you can see in the results of this chart. Now, in case you don't know how to build this, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to build this right now, so you you can establish your own uh, sell zone 
uh, and you'll notice that we that we bounce, you know, we came here to the cycle low, we came up, we hit the sell zone perfectly, and then and then trailed down. Now, let me show you how to create this. What you do, and on stockcharts.com, you hit the annotate button here, and what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and delete these items here, so I can show you exactly how to how to build them. I'll leave this one in play, but I'll put it up here for now. Okay, so now you come over here to your toolbar, you hit this one and you go and you click it once and then you hit Fibonacci retracement, hit that. Now we're gonna go from the high, which is right there, and we're gonna take it to the cycle low, which I know it's hard for you to possibly see. I'll tell you what, just in case it's so hard to see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that candle I mean, uh, this 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 line, we'll just move it out of the way for now. We'll put it back later. Okay, so now let's go back to this one. Now, see that, see that candle low right there? That's on that cycle low day. That's what we're going to hit. And we're going to carry that across uh, to the end of the chart there. Now, personally, I don't like this to be red. I want this one to be blue. So I'm just going to change the color to blue. And then... On the lines, I'm going to make these lines a little bit thinner to make it easier for me to see. So this way I can see it. Now, there are numbers here, 50% and 61%. So the retracement on the Fibonacci retracement off the bounce should be between 50 and 61%. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rectangle. Now I want my rectangle to be red. Then... I'm going to, this is the cycle low right here. So I'm going to grab the at the 61.8% and I'm going to carry that. And you could go down even, even to the 32 because you don't never know exactly where. So if you want to give yourself a wide sell zone, this would be a wide selling area right here. If you uh, depend, but SPY has been on the very bullish end lately. So we'll go 50 to 61% on the retracement. Um, and we will carry that to right there. And that is how you are going to establish your cell zone, which is right there. And let's go ahead and put this one back to where it was, which is right there, giving you your, your cycle, which is 21 days. We don't know how this, this next cycle should last anywhere uh, judging from history, anywhere from 17 days up to 23 days, uh, we don't know exactly how long it's going to last, but um, judging from the previous uh, about six cycles, we can see that we're averaging that. Now, let me just go ahead and hit the X, and I'm going to save this chart. And that is how you create a a sell zone and with using using cycle analysis and a Fibonacci retracement tool to determine at what point in time you want to do your sell. Now on on many times what I'm doing is I'm doing covered calls or I'm doing cash secured puts. Now on my last video on SBY I did a cash secured put and the way that the put works is that puts will gain in value as the price of the stock or ETF is going down in value. And puts will lose value when the ETF or is going or the stock is going up in value. So this would have been the, the perfect time to buy to close the put because it would have been the least amount of money uh, needed in order to buy to close the put at this level right here. If you wanted to repurchase the put, you always could at a lower a lower level, and you would have been able to sell to open that put at a much greater price. So that's how this cycle analysis can really help on your timing to determine exactly how you want to play the trade or play, play, yeah, play, execute your trade is what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out exactly how you want to position yourself. Okay, when I was looking at the SPY chart on Monday, this is 
basically the chart that I was looking at and reviewing from from the uh, from the weekend and it had done a bounce now at that time I suggested that it would be a good idea to purchase a cash secured put right here but in retrospect because I didn't do the proper cycle analysis it actually was totally a totally wrong trade and I'll show you why on this chart right here because if I'd have done that trade I would have done a cash secured put um, right here and I would have made it with uh, at a trade level of $430 so I still would have been okay because it's uh, currently trading right at $429.42 uh, a share but had I done this analysis, let me just get rid of this so it's not so confusing. Had I done this Fibonacci retracement and put in my sell zone, I would have known not to purchase a cash secured put at this level because this was the, the marking the peak peak zone and that the, the prices were going to drop off. This is how this type of an analysis can be so beneficial to help you with your timing of your trades and it can be extremely profitable if you implement this type of strategy. Now on the SPY cycles you can see that the the lows and the, and the timing and all of this is really well orchestrated and it's kind of easy to follow and SPY is a major major uh, that's probably the most traded ETF in the entire world so this is a major uh, uh, ETF that um, a lot of people use uh, for their trading activities it's uh, one that I like to use because it represents the S&P 500 but when you look at some of the other uh, charts. Let me see if I can get you one that's not so clean. I'm sure GLD is one that's not clean. Here's here's GLD. Let me just blow that up a little bit so you can see it a little bit bigger and update that. And you can see here that even though I tried to get the cycle timing lows represented by these um, vertical uh, blue lines and then here's the days in between it's a really dirty chart so when you're looking at something that's really as confusing as this oh and by the way i tried to put in uh, okay so let's look at this and you can see here where you had a cycle breakdown okay so on this cycle here which went from here and this, I mean, at this point in time, back in May, G GLD, which is the gold ETF, gold shares uh, traded on the New York Stock Exchange, went basically straight up. And you can see that the low was created here, and the next low was created here, which is a much higher low. Well, then the next cycle, I mean, it's almost a guarantee because you can't, it's very difficult to, Trees don't go to the sky, as they say. You know, we had a cycle breakdown. We we had we had a breakdown of this momentum. We started trading below these two moving averages, which is the 10 and 20 day simple moving average, and then that and that brought down. And then we had a huge gap down, and then the next cycle low was established right here. So we had a cycle breakdown from here to here. And then doing a Fibonacci retracement, that puts you your, at your sell zone right here. And look what happened. It, it came up and it hit, it just touched the 50% retracement level. And it touched it three times you could have gotten out of this position. Here, here, and here before it dropped and fell right down to the floor. And, uh, and and here you had another cycle breakdown because you went from a from a low to a lower low rather than a higher low. So at this point in time, we are indicating lower prices ahead. But on the next cycle, which was 26 days out, we actually had a higher low, which was which would be telling you that the net, that this cycle, the current cycle that we're in, would be indicative of higher prices ahead. 
but that is not what happened. Hold on, we have so many bars here. We have 30 bars. Let's just change that to 15 bars, just so that there's not so much white space here on the right side of the chart. And let me just save that. Okay, so basically that is, but we had a break, but, but, but during this cycle here, this current cycle, it already broke down to a lower low, which is not good. And it broke down early in the cycle indicating that the current cycle that we're in has more downward bias, downward to sideways bias than upward bias. So um, basically that's where GLD is. But I was just trying to show you a different chart with a different perspective so that you could kind of see basically how you're gonna use your Fibonacci retracements from each cycle. So from this cycle, we go from there to there, created the cell zone. If you would have implemented that, it would have worked out perfectly because it you would have saved you all this angst. Then, and you had three times to do it, there, there, and there. And that was being with an aggressive cell strategy because uh, that was from the 50 to the 61% retracement levels. Whereas really you should be at from the 38% to the 68, 61%. So the red box should really be here. This is like an aggressive cell box. But it hit it three times. And then on, after then after this cycle bottomed to create your Fibonacci retracement for the next cycle, that that gives you that sell box here. But in this case, on this cycle, it far surpassed it. Once you get past the 78% retracement level, which is right about here, you begin to think that okay that is we are we are abandoning the fibonacci retracement cell zone and we're starting to look at this as a profitable we're going to the we're going up prices are uh, the probabilities of higher prices ahead is higher but in this case not only did we go past the 78 percent retracement we went all the way to the 100 percent retracement before we hit it and then uh, bounced and came down and been going down ever since. So in this case, it did not work. So you have to take cycle analysis with a grain of salt because it's not perfect as any type of timing indicator is not 100% perfect. In this case, it worked out perfectly, but in this case, it did not work out perfectly. So you have to use your judgment and you still have to watch the charts because, okay, in this case it did that, but once you started to come down and you went down and you closed down below the 50%, too bad though, but because once you closed down below the 50% mark, you gapped all the way down to here. So that was a huge drop to take before you began to shift gears and said, okay, this is, uh, we're, we're, we're not experiencing higher prices ahead. We're, 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 this was, uh, an anomaly where it, it just took us out. It was instead of a breakout, it was a fake out. And now we're looking at lower prices ahead. Okay, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you got some education on cycle analysis, how you can try to use cycle analysis to help with the timing of your trades to determine how you want to position yourself and when you want to position yourself for your trades. Um, please click that like button if you have not done so already. Subscribe to my channel, Ken Training, and I will catch you on the flip side.